For the longest time in my pendulum career, I have said that Zephra sucks. I'll admit it, I have. Well, today that changes, baby. Zephra fast stack, let's go. Today's video, I'm gonna showcase you guys my pure Zephra deck profile. Let's go with a little bit of sprinkle of some DDs on top to put up a nice secret engine. And this deck is something that most pendulum decks cannot do. It is an amazing mix of both uh, combo and control and the best way to play any version of Pendulum that you want a little bit of control in and not just combo like crazy, this is the way to go. So you guys are ready for this video. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers, so make sure to smash the subscribe button. Also, if you guys want to get coached by the Pen God, don't forget, for a limited time only, we are offering one-on-one -on -one coaching on PayPal, only for $15 an hour or something. I don't even know. I'll do this shit for free, because Pen Best Deck, let's go. And also, don't forget that on Patreon, we do supplemental videos and got duels of this deck on Patreon right now. So go check it out. If you guys are ready for the video, smash the subscribe button and let's go, baby. It's good up time. Let's go. <laughs> Pure Zephyr is legit, and I'm going to showcase exactly why in this video. So make sure to stay tuned to the end. This video, I'm going to showcase for you guys the updated Pure Zephyr deck profile and combo tutorial. I did uh, sprinkle in a few DDDs in here. It's still Pure Zephyr, but the DDDs offer something that the Zephyr specializes in, and that's Synchro Summoning. So adding in a small DD engine gives you a much higher ceiling for the Zephyr engine and the Zephyr deck in itself, and doesn't need, it, it doesn't force you to play... Uh, random cards like Endymion cards just to put combo cards on board but playing a small DD engine basically ensures that you don't only turn Zephyr into a control deck but a control deck that at any time can be explosive at the exact same time so it's something I really like about adding in the synchro engine in here you're not going to put up a huge board the whole point is you're just putting up a free herald and the herald's going to negate your uh protect your main play you're also going to put up a needle fiber or the formula synchron is nice to have on field if you didn't have access to the main combo, I'm gonna show you guys right here. So if you don't have access to the main combo, which I'm gonna showcase to you guys in a bit, it's a VFD combo with Zephra. This is a control deck, that's how Zephyrs are. You know, continuously just try and control stuff little by little. Uh, VFD helps you do that. But uh, if you don't have access to VFD, which is the only way you have access to VFD, is by Pendulum Summoning Zephyr Nui and Zephyr Axie. But uh, here in this hand, we have access to, to, to VFD, but sometimes we don't. Hence, this, it's a really cool combo, the fact that Zephyr Nui is in level 6, and in this uh, Selene combo with, with one Kepler or one Lamia or one Contract, they get you a free draw 1, which is massive in Pendulum decks. You get you literally got another interruption by the draw 1, and then you get a free Herald, and you get a level 2 to Synchro with the Zephyr Nui. So the Zephyr Nui can now Synchro with the formula into Savage Dragon. So that's if we don't have access to our VFD play. Uh, we could also, in this situation, use Zephyr Providence to search another... Zephyr Nui and Synchro with that, but I th it's also nice to have a Needle Fiber on board because Needle Fiber's second effect is also really good, being able to draw one with Formula or to discard a card Locust. So here we activate its effect to make it a Synchro. We chain to put uh, Gizmek on top of the deck via Oracle of Zephyra. Then we XYZ them into Calamities. Uh, and, uh, because Croc draws one card, you draw the, the Gizmek. Then you get your VFD here. Next, you're going to activate this to search another trap. You play two traps on the deck. You do not play Zephyr Path in this deck, the Floodgate spell card that some that some pure Zephyrs play. The reason being is that if you activated Zephyr Path right now, your whole field of Fiber, VFD, and Herald will automatically die. So Zephyr Path is good for shit Zephyr decks, but we don't play shit Zephyr decks here. We play Zephyr combo, but same at the same time control. So at this point, uh, this is kind of, it's like Elich Synchro back in the day when they used to have Jet Synchron, what they would do is they'll put up a big board to start, maybe like a Herald and a Savage, protected with all the with all the Elich cards or something along those lines, uh, with draw four or something like that. But now, uh, it's the same idea, where you put up a big combo board, and then after that you control the field via Zep uh, the Zephra, uh, uh, Zephr uh, Zephr Nui, the Pendulum Summon, and Pendulum Summon a little by little, use the traps to control the field as you, as you please, use all your hand traps, and that's what I love about the deck. It's like both combo and control, but without the DDDs, uh, you don't have the Herald or the Fiber here, and the Fiber is going to give you a draw one, and look what the Herald's going to offer too. The combo doesn't end here. You actually plus even more. Like I said, it's super controlly, right? 
So the, what the DD engine does, doesn't only give you a VFD, but it gives you the options for the formula or the locust. The other card you guys saw there, where you just discard one card your opponent controls. But also on top of that, so after you draw one card, Hero's gonna negate a card, and after its effect will trigger and add Necroz of Brio, Brio. And uh, what Brio does is it searches, people don't understand, it's not a brick at all. Uh, you search draw for turn, you draw another Zephra Providence, you draw for turn, and then you search uh, Zephra Necroz card, which is a low scale. And by no means whatsoever does Brio or the low scale Necroz brick, by no means whatsoever, because what they both are are simply a low scale. And this whole combo wasn't possible if not for this DD card. What this DD card is, just so you guys know, this DD card is uh, simply, in fact, yes, all the DD card is is a low scale that's searchable via contract. So Kepler and contract can get you a low scale. So in hands where you draw three hand traps, uh, Oracle of Zephyr and a DD card, you can also just use it to search the low scale, save your hand trap, or maybe pendulum a hand trap or something, and now you, know, you can pendulum summon. So it's super cool synergy together. I really like it. And now you also have Selene Access Code, thanks to uh, Necroz, the Zephyr Necroz. So it's really cool. Your opponent is not playing through VFD. Your opponent, opponent is simply not playing through VFD Herald, Divine Strike, Zephyr War, Ash, with the draw one slash a discard one card from Locust. And then your opponent is not playing through, is not surviving the next turn because the Zephyr Necroz is actually a spellcaster. So it gives you a Selene Access Code OTK automatically. So Herald not only like defends, but Herald also ensures that you're OTKing next turn with Selene and Access Code. That's a commentorial. I think this deck's actually super, super fun. I'm not gonna showcase you guys the deck profile. If you guys wanna see duels of this deck, make sure to check out my Patreon where I just posted lots of duels with this Zephyr deck that I, I honestly love playing this deck. It's so fun. Anyways, let's go straight to the deck profile. This is the deck profile. Obviously, you're gonna need to play 10 or uh, 10 Zephyrs. Max them out. I even tried to play set rotation. It just didn't really work out. Uh, you have to play some bad spell, uh, field spells at, at that point just to trigger it. I also tried not playing hand traps. I'm playing board breakers like Mystic Mines and then playing set rotation, another way to search your, your Zephyrath. But at the end of the day, hand traps are offensive in this build. You can literally pendulum summon the Ash and Valor and continue with your needle fiber combo. So it's really good for that reason. The next 10 on the list are other are uh, non Zephyrath or uh, Zephra cards. So Zephyr Nui is the best one in the deck, obviously, because you can continually add and add and add, and it's your only actual scale seven. So typically you send it with Zephyrath all the time. I don't play the Zephyr that pops one uh, because the deck needs low scales. The re rest are low scales. You know, Max on Zephyr actually ends up for Nui. It's the whole part of the deck. It's just VFD. This makes puts up VFD as consistently as Virtual World, but it can play nine hand traps on the deck and 18 hand traps post side deck. And uh, it just, I think this deck just way better than Virtual World. Everyone's playing Virtual World right now. That deck just does VFD pass as a one trick pony. This deck doesn't just do VFD pass, it does VFD with a bunch of other stuff uh, through hand traps, etc. And you're allowed to play more hand traps in this build, in this deck. You play two uh, Zephyr Tubin and just another low scale. You need low scales. You just need low scales. Because Zephyrath is always, almost always going to go for a high scale. Unless you hard draw a Zephyr Nui and don't have access to a low scale, then you can make Zephyrath a low scale. That's why you need to play as many low scales as humanly possible. A lot of times when you hard draw hand traps, you're actually going to want your Kepler and Contract not to search Lamia to do the Needle Fiber combo, but to actually search the low scale right here, which is the DD God over here. Uh, it's just something in common. DD God, Pen God, let's go. You go on and search it as a low scale. And this is better than DD Orthros. Because with DD Orthros, yes, you could pop a back row, but uh, you cannot pendulum summon Zephyraxi. This is a low scale zero that you can pendulum summon anything with, including the Kepler itself, which is actually very important. And in the grind game, you're able to pendulum summon Kepler as well as other Zephyr cards on and on and on. And then when Kepler gets pen summoned, you search contract and you land me the next turn if you really want to. Uh, and at the same time, you can always pendulum summon an Ash or a Valor and then Needle Fiber combo. You can also make Zephyraxi a Synchro. Uh, uh, sorry, a tuner. Hence, instead of going into VFD, you can make this a tuner and go Needle Fiber right away. Uh, and then again, the Zephyr Necros and the Necros Brio are very important. They literally are free, low scale. You get from Herald, and Herald comes up every single turn. So it gives you a Selene Access Code. Zephyr have trouble OTKing. Well, after you Herald their ass, now you're able to Selene Access Code them. And it's just mandatory. Uh, control as much as you can. Like I said, you basically control, control, control until you see a moment to strike. Kind of like uh, Sky Strikers, where they have a moment to access code talker and then access code talker you right away. It's like you just you pick your points, so you, you control the whole game until you find your moment to strike, 
And when you find your moment to strike, that's when you drop and you go all out with this deck. And that's why you need an engine that can go all out and not just play uh, Pendulum Summon, Zephyr Nui, add co Counter Trap past turn for 10 turns. That's not going to do good for you when they, uh, you're playing a combo deck. So uh, gets a combo deck. Uh, anyways, we're going to continue. We're playing one Gizmet Kaku because it's searchable. Going second, it's actually not even that bad. Going first, you just already know you have one level 9. So you don't even need the Oracle of Zephyr. Going second it actually helps you break boards. It's pretty cool. Uh, it really does help you break boards, so it's cool. Uh, you play two traps, and again, I don't. you don't play Zephyr Path. It's a brick. It's bad. It, you, the only way you would play Zephyr Path is if you take out every single DD card in your deck. But the DD cards are so important for this deck. It gives you, like I said, it searches you a low scale. So now you actually have seven low scales if you really want to. But at the same time, you also have set, uh, six one-card combos. I don't play one for one because uh, D in Zephyr, Pendulums, like it's too, every card in your hand is too important. And you play nine land traps. Post side deck, you play 18. Uh, the other the side deck, these nine. And then when you face against a trap deck, you put in three Lightning Storm and three Evenly Match. You put those six in place of three Nibiru, two Valor. I always keep one Valor for Selene Access Code. That's the whole point of the deck. And then you can take out one random card. If VFT doesn't do anything against their deck, I'm taking out the Gizmet Kaku. Uh, it also obviously depends. And also, if I, let's say VFT is good against a trap deck, then I won't. But uh, against... Now when you side in these nine, this is where it gets tricky. When you side in the 18 hand traps. So when you side in the 18 hand traps, at this point you have to make a decision. Do I want to play focus more in the DD engine? Or do I want to focus more on the Zephyr engine? So what I'm going to go ahead and say I, what I think is the best. Post side deck, uh, for these nine hand traps, I will take out the counter trap. This trap is actually good. Uh, if I, I add some random Zephyrs and just keep one trap. What I think is actually the best is put it against combo decks, put in online hand traps, and take out Gizmet Kaku. And take out all the, Zephyr, uh, out all the DD cards. And then at that point, you're playing pure zephyr control with 20 ha with 20 hand traps going second in the sense that the whole game plan is to stop your opponent from playing with the hand traps and then go for more hand trap control and divine strike control post side deck with 18 hand traps against combo decks extra deck link karibo important for the lamia celine then you got Li uh, link ross and you got formula marcher herald those are part of the combo you play one savage dragon because uh, the combo, you can always end on Herald Savage with the Zephyr Nui being Synchro Summon. So it's all very good to have with that. You also play another Formula Synchron because another cool uh, thing that you can do is sometimes you're going to have extra Zephyr monsters laying around doing nothing. So needle, the extra Needle Fiber goes into Formula Synchron and then that Formula Synchron with the extra level 4 will go into Locust. So you actually, uh, rather than the level 4 doing nothing for you, now you have a net plus 2. Because your opponent will have discard a card and you will plus one by drawing a card. And the next turn you will kill them. And then that's the cool thing with Herald as well. That you don't just defend, but you also get a low scale next turn. So Herald's effect said, uh, imagine Herald's effect said, uh, this card can negate any monster, spell, or trap card, card. Also, after you negate the card, if this card gets sent to the graveyard, you can add one low scale from your deck to your hand. Every single pendulum deck in the world will play it. Unfortunately, the only low skill this could search is only playable in Zephra. Hence, Brio is absolutely fucking mandatory without question. It's just big brain from the pen god. You're welcome. Any any Zephra deck that plays Synchros, that has access to Herald, must without question play Necros of Brio. Because it not only gets you a low skill, but it also guarantees that you're killing them with Selene access code next turn. Anyway, and you're always resolving Selene. All you need to draw is one spell. One spell. You're playing Zephra's. And Kepler gets you a spell. So three, you're playing 3, 6, 9, 12. You're playing 13 spells. Just draw one because your other two scales are going to be the other two spell cards. So just draw one of your 13 spells or let your opponent draw one spell in their deck. Because you always have two spells via your scales. And then lastly, you play one Croc and one Calamities to ensure the VFT combo. That's the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I have a blast playing this deck. Uh, the next stream, I'm going to try and play this even more. If you guys want to see more duels with this deck, check out my Patreon. I just posted a lot more. If you guys want to get take advantage while this sale is going on, we have a clock map for only 30 USD on tripgaming.com. Go check it out right now. Lastly, if you guys want coaching, I'm offering coaching now for $30 for two hours, one-on-one -on -one coaching on Discord with the Pen God. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!